Hello crew and Nikki. It's uh, Sunday sometime in August. It's the first Sunday in August and um, I haven't made a video in a while. It's been uh, a lot of stuff going on and I just didn't feel like it. <laughs> um, I enjoyed your guys' videos. I enjoyed the, um, the video of uh, rope swinging into the lake and uh, the San Juan's videos were nice, very nice, Nikki. I like those a lot, actually. Um, so, <clears throat> it's uh, Sunday morning, as I said. Sarah and Bryn have headed up to Pullman for a meeting, a camp committee meeting. So they're gone all day. It's a three hour drive each way, uh, for those of you who don't know. And uh, so they'll drive up there and get there by 10 o'clock or so, and then have a meeting until like two o'clock and then come home. So. Sarah should be home around five. So, um, yeah, I, I'm going to make a couple videos here. I'm, I'm going to respond to your guys' videos. I actually took notes earlier this week about that, but I just didn't feel like responding. But first, <clears throat> I'm just going to do a short video here and talk about some stuff um, at our house. Um, so, first of all, um, we um, finally finished... Um, the bathroom, and I'm sitting here on the other side of the bathroom, and so I'm going to turn this around and see what you can see there, yeah. You can see the sink, um, uh, which finally got put in, um, so now this bathroom is finished and they finished all the trim down below there, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the other thing that I did was, you know, I told you about the thunderstorms we were having, and so I actually ordered an uninterrupted power supply for our um, network closet down here, which is, of course, down in here, and uh, I don't know if you can actually see that there. Um, so that thing right there is an uninterrupted power supply. It costs like 60 bucks, <clears throat> it's got a battery in it, and it uh, smooths out the power surges and then maintains power if it goes down. It's funny because we had those electrical storms and actually the Thursday that I got my concussion we had a huge electrical storm that night and uh, and we'd been having them for literally you know a month um, several times a week and um, and so that day, that night we ordered this because we kept on having power outages and having to reboot things here and I was like you know we've got all this equipment here it's gonna go down and then uh, we haven't had an electrical storm since then so but this will be long term good so anyway we've done that um, let's see there was something else I was gonna show you guys as well but I can't remember um, it was oh there's crew in the background oh I was gonna talk about Carew and Gareth crew there's crew hiding going to do what he does. Um, they're recovering from chicken pox. And I don't think I made a video about their chicken pox. So Taryn, who's right there, um, watching Rhett and Link. If you haven't ever watched Rhett and Link, they're, they're kind of fun to watch sometimes. They make an internet show. Um, but uh, they, uh, they're on, uh, Taryn's watching Rhett and Link. But um, Taryn had the chicken pox and then, uh, Carew and Gareth both got it after Taryn did. So, um, they're, they're all feeling better now. Um, Carew and Gareth got pretty severe cases, but the one thing, we got them on antivirals fairly quickly, which seemed to make a big difference and make them healthier. So, um, yeah, I think we're finally done with most of the the uh, the renovations to the house. Actually, interestingly, um, one of the things that I would like to do at some point is, <laughs> well, so there's other things I'd like to do to the house. Um, but um, one of them is in the living room, refinish the floors in there and actually clean that up. Because we've been spending a lot of time in this area that's been redone now, largely because it's, um, it's uh, really light and airy. And in the other room, because we've got the, we put a porch on the house. I don't know, I'm sure you've seen that, Nikki. But um, we uh, we haven't. It's kind of dark in there during the day, so um, we're thinking about 
well, having the floor refinished, which would lighten things up a little bit, but also painting the ceiling white because it's kind of, it's actually stained with cigarette smoke probably. It's kind of a yellow color and it really needs to be redone. And the other thing I'd like to do, two other things, this is all like long term, but you know, so is, this was a dream in here, um, is upstairs we've got, oh, why don't I take it up and show you? Because I don't think, whoop. Nikki has seen this and we'll see how long this is going to take, but um, so I'm going upstairs here and we have these little narrow stairs, which is fine, um, but when we get up to the top of the stairs here, the way the house is set up, um, there's um, a bunch of bedrooms in here, but the first bedroom on the left, this is a huge room. It's, I don't know, it's probably 20 some feet long, I don't know. Uh, a little less than 15 feet wide um, and maybe it's only like 12 feet wide and he's got these weird alcoves on the last left Sarah and I sleep in here you can see it's a mess um, and uh, we could when actually when we moved in to the house somebody had built a a wall a partition that started right here on this green little alcove there I went across over here and you can actually see the spot over here where there's a, a gap right there in the uh, in the trim and there was a somebody stubbed up in a set of two by fours right over the carpet here they didn't even cut the carpet it was right over the carpet and created a partition and made this a bedroom and this wall you can see I don't know if you can tell but it runs diagonally across here and the other side of that wall there is um, a hallway here um, and you see that hallway runs diagonally and it's kind of weird it's this boxy thing here where there's a chimney and a little closet in there and actually access to the attic and down here we've got the boys rooms this is Gareth's room which is a mess this is Carew's room which is a mess this is uh, over here Taryn's room which is a mess but it has lots of Legos, which is cool. Um, and then this is Bryn's room, which was an addition. And I think the people who used this before us used this as a family room. Um, this is another huge room, kind of funky. And it steps down. It's kind of weird. There's a step down, two steps in here. And so one of the things that Sarah and I had talked about, um, and then there's a small bathroom right here. It's not tiny, but it's, it's, uh, that we actually had redone um, first because it was in ba really bad shape. So um, this room, Sarah and I have talked about turning into a master bedroom and maybe putting this, oddly enough, this room has a sink in it. Um, so it's, it, it is more of a family room bar slash thing. Um, so you can see Bryn's got all these Lord of the Ring, Firefly things. Um, what else do we have? So she's got her uh, Cat Stevens poster. She's a huge Cat Stevens fan. And uh, yeah, all of her stuff here. So um, yeah. Uh, the other thing, so the, the thought was to turn that into a master bedroom, put a, put a bathroom actually in there, in right here. Um, and then maybe if we can figure out how to do that, take out this wall and open this area up so that, and maybe take out these cubby things, but then put a, a, a serious wall back where that partition was, a real wall, and um, open this space up and make it kind of a, a family room, uh, open space that when you come upstairs, you've got an open living space up here. Um, and, uh, and then that small bedroom so we'd have these, we'd have four small bedrooms and then a master bedroom as well. So anyway, we're thinking about doing that at some point. It's just kind of for fun. Um, the, uh, I don't know if we'll ever get around to it or not um, because it's not really necessary, but it's one of those things that uh, probably what will happen is, you know, we'll get to a, uh, a holiday or something when we have uh, a little free time, like it's kind of what happened when we started in there. It was Christmas and we had some free time and so uh, 
uh, we started tearing out walls and that might be how that happens. It's uh, well planned, well thought out. Anyway, um, I'll finish up this video and I'll make more videos if I feel compelled to do so until I talk to you again. Still dead.